Today we have a little different video, one where I will catalog some of the pedestrian facilities in my neighborhood. Okay, the first pedestrian facility we're going to talk about is going to be this uh, pedestrian tunnel that is on 4,000 uh, south and about 4,700 west. It's actually going to be um, about 0.2 miles east from 4,700 west and it is 1.2 three miles from the uh, other pedestrian crossing that's at 3500 west um, to the east of this pedestrian tunnel. Um, we're going to see exactly how muddy and nasty it is and how it actually doesn't connect to anything just yet. So this is uh, where the uh, Pedestrian tunnel connects with the sidewalk here on the south side of the road. And like I said, as you see, it's pretty muddy. Okay, let's look at this. How people are using this. They're walking down here. If they're on bikes or whatever, they're heading that way. But most people are cutting this off right here. So we see a pedestrian use trail coming down. Um, this is really actually nice. Good facility. We got underneath the bridge. Alright, now how do we get around back to the sidewalk? Oh, snap. How do we get back? Oh, crap. You guys have to go back this way. Alright, so... How do the pedestrian use this? Uh, obviously. Well, they're going to have to hop this fence. Apparently. We'll see how muddy this is. Okay. And to be honest, this has been like this for at least a year, if not more. Now, are we trespassing? I don't know. Like, look at this. How do kids go under that? pedestrian bridge and get to work or to school I mean. How do they get to school? Alright, well this is the way. Entertaining, huh? Good stuff. Okay, this next uh, intersection is going to be at 4700 west and 4000 south. And we'll see that there is actually a school on the north side of the road and there are um, parks and other community amenities that would be on the south side of the road. So this is a 50 mile an hour road and it is five lanes here. So what is your problem generally is that way you can walk Well you know what I did there's a, a house that we up the street and uh -huh. they're doing kind of north side of the street. Uh -huh. But they do they they walk every morning but you know they Or to the pedestrian tunnel. Yes, that's true. So, I mean, it's Oh, it's definitely. Like, that pedestrian crossing uses like a bunny shimble trying to get across there, right? Yes, right. Because people are going so fast. And even on 40 feet, it's a really good, there's not a walkway they, to cross there. So, they have no pedestrian crossings? No. And, and those are uh, not enforceable. They're like, you can't enforce a no, no pedestrian crossing at the intersection. That's a unmarked crosswalk, technically. Any intersection is an unmarked crosswalk. Okay. 
And so, like, you're technically allowed to cross there, uh -huh. but are people going to let you? Yeah, and if you do, and if you get hit, then is it your um, fault? Or is it your I know, own it's, a, it's a whole big legal mess. Yes, it is. Of where you can cross there. Some people don't want to, you know, go all the way that way. If you get right there, you yeah, know. Yeah. Okay, here we are at 4,000 South and 4,300 West. There's actually no pedestrian crossing allowed at this intersection, um, but it's really not enforceable. But there are signs, and there will be signs at any intersections all along this road, um, except for the few actually marked crosswalks. Okay, this intersection is at 3500 West and 4000 South, and it really ends up being about a five-lane crossing in each way because you have turn lanes, the uh, right-hand turn lanes at either side. How far do Sidewalk ends, huh? Check this out. Okay, um, in this clip, we're going to show a section of uh, sidewalk that's missing on the south side of 4000 South. Um, there is sidewalk on the north side, but I have often seen people walking up this way. Um, there's going to be a, a distance uh, recorded in the lower right hand corner of the screen and um, when we get to the end you'll see that it's uh, that the sidewalk starts again somewhere in the uh, slip lane and again this is a very fast road and it's very dangerous for people to use this side of the road the vehicles that pedestrian have to walk that far without a sidewalk to get back to the sidewalk. Okay, this is um, Midland Drive and 4000 South. Um, this is a pretty tricky crossing. We have uh, slip lanes in almost all lanes. And the, both of these roads intersecting are 50 miles an hour. Um, sometimes the uh, slip lanes can be a little tricky for people. So, uh, and the walk signals are pretty quick. So if you're disabled in any way, this can be an extra tricky intersection to neg negotiate. Okay, this uh, crossing is on Midland Drive and about 2700 west um, if you looked at the picture of the overhead there's a large trailer park on the east side of the road and oftentimes people are using this unmarked crosswalk to make it across to the uh, gas station on the other side of the road um, and at times this can be really busy again we have a five lane highway with a speed limit of 50 miles an hour this crossing is at uh, Midland Drive and Hinkley Drive. Um, again, it's another five lane road with slip lanes. And again, they're both 50 mile an hour roads that intersect. Um, to the east is the entrance to the Denver Rio Grande Rail Trail. So if anyone wants to walk up there, they have to use this road and head east. Okay, here we are coming up to the rail trail crossing at 4000 South. And uh, this whole area could really use a lot more 
infrastructure to help people to make it around. Um, we'll listen to this next clip. Coming from that way there, I like to enter the sidewalk here because this crossing is a little bit difficult on your bicycle in the lane. As you can see, that the lane ends, well, the shoulder of the lane ends right up here. And it gets narrow, and the crossings are at a bad angle for someone on a bicycle. Okay, here's video of the rail crossing. And as you can see, the tracks are at kind of a funny angle. Um, the lane is narrow coming through here. Uh, there is quite a few pedestrians on this sometimes. And when a bicyclist gets to about this point here, he disappears to the traffic behind him. So this place here could really use a nice wide uh, path for people on bikes to make it over the crossings, and then make it up this grade to the top of the hill. This intersection is at the front runner station in Roy. Um, we're going to watch this lady cross the street and see how people react to her. They're stopping. She's in the crosswalk right there. Now there is a senior citizen's home that's to the north and they're often using mobility scooters to make it through. This intersection here is at 2275 West, 4800 South in Roy. And it's directly in front of a seminary building so you have children, high school kids often crossing the street here to get to seminary or to high school. They can be doing it all kinds of hours. So uh, there's been quite a few close calls reported on this crosswalk here. The crossing traffic is 35 miles an hour. This is going to be the rail trail crossing on 5600 West in Roy. Uh, there is a hawk light, and you'll see it activates. S sometimes it works okay. Sometimes people don't really want to stop and slow down. Um, you see that person there really rolled through the yield area. Uh, in this clip here, we got a cyclist trying to cross the road. Um, and, of course... They gotta run because they gotta stay out of the way of everyone racing through on their cars. Now uh, I'm going to be crossing back over here and we'll see if everyone stops. See, activated the lights. Okay, looks like it crossed okay. This crossing here is in front of Roy Elementary on 5600 South, and it also has a hawk light, but you can see it's one that goes over the, uh, the street. It's actually really close to the rail trail crossing, and this one works pretty good. This is a tricky crossing. It's on Midland Drive, which is a five lane, 50 mile an hour highway. And there's uh, high density housing in the background. This disabled person, uh, this is her most direct route between her house and the grocery store on this side of the road. Um, she You're ready to told go, me yeah? that this is the crossing that she makes and we could really use a crossing of some sort here. Um, she could detour to a, a traffic control light, but I'm not exactly sure how much better that would be. During school hours, this is actually a 
school crossing. If you look at the feet on the uh, inlay in the picture, you'll notice that it's around 70 feet wide. Uh, the uh, traffic is 35 miles an hour, and it is a three-lane road that goes to a school that's on the west side of this road. This is at 3500 west, and I can't remember the exact south. So this is a neighborhood that is to the east of West Haven Elementary. You'll notice there are no sidewalks on this street. Um, we're going to ride until we see a sidewalk, which is just a little bit to the east of the school itself. And you can imagine that there are kids who walk down these streets to get to their school. We're going to take this sidewalk to the school. This is where the sidewalk starts. Mainly because so many kids are trying to get this way to school. We live in these neighborhoods, and this is the only sidewalk that we have. Um, there's a little some sidewalk heading that way, but before this point, there was no sidewalk. The kids have to walk this way, and then they have a crosswalk up here to get to school. Now you can imagine what a zoo this place is when school is getting started or letting out. You have parents pulling into these round, these uh, drop off drop off places. But look right there, no sidewalk heading that way. The kids have got to make it across. It's a couple of crosswalks. Hey, thanks for watching, and this graphic that's up on the screen right now. We need to remember this because we have made roads entirely too fast. They're absolutely deadly. And thanks for watching again. And have a great week.